Valentine's Day is coming and one of the ideas that you can use for a gift for Valentine's Day is blooming plants. They tend to be um, one that people like to receive for Valentine's Day and the blooms will last oftentimes a little bit longer than cut flowers. If you're interested in giving blooming plants, there are lots of plants to choose from. Here at the Flower Exchange in Warland, there are some beautiful orchids, some azaleas, some colancho, some African violets, as well as some anthurium, and there is a beautiful cyclamen here, as well as a topiary that's shaped in a heart with the jasmine blooming on it. There's oftentimes a different array of sizes, so you can go from the very small pots to much larger pots, and that gives you quite an array to pick from for price ranges. If you're interested in giving a blooming plant as a gift for Valentine's Day or into the spring months, you might ask for some recommendations based on what location someone might have to put a plant in when you give it to them. Um, some plants may need indirect light or some plants may need more full sun. Many of the blooming plants that we have um, available to us in the Rocky Mountain region are plants that are tropical and so they will take plenty of water in our dry forest air environments in the winter time. For the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman and you're watching From the Ground Up.